Hey, what's going on, everybody? Yeah, it's a really jacked up box there, ain't it? It's Ass Hat Podcast, and what we got going on here? Well, we got something, something different. Billy Jack, the Billy, the complete Billy Jack collection, all four films. And most people going, there's only three Billy Jack films. Well, th- th- technically, there's three with Billy Jack in the title. But some people don't know about the last one. Some people don't know there's one before then that didn't have Billy Jack in the title, but he's in it. And that's what we got here. It's the full set. I picked this up. There used to be a really good uh, thrift store in town that has since closed. I used to get stuff like this at, and it'd be, you know, a dollar or two. I had, when I got this, I'd seen the first, the first Billy Jack, Billy Jack and Title film. I think I'd seen the, the film before. Had not seen the rest. I don't think the third one, the third one, Billy Jack and Title, the fourth film overall, had ever gotten any kind of release like this. And it was one of these weird things where, like, as a kid, I come here, it was Saturday, I'm watching wrestling, WWF wrestling. This is the 80s. I see Billy Jack Haynes on stream. I'm like, hey, Billy Jack. And Dad's like, oh, that ain't the real Billy Jack. And, like, two or three weeks later, I'm back in the room probably playing Atari. I was come here, come here, you got to see this. And it's like the Saturday or Sunday movie. Remember back in the days when, like, your local independent channels on Saturday show, Saturday or Sundays after lunch showed movies. These older movies. And this would be the eighties, like I said. It's Billy Jack the movie. Like, oh, Billy Jack's got a movie. I'm thinking Billy Jack Hayes. It's this Billy Jack. Tom Tom Laughlin, I think's his name. Let's see here. Shit, get my glasses. Experience the legend like never before. These four groundbreaking action back cinema adventures in the seventies pop culture icon and Billy Jack feature all the fast kicking, politically aware stories that had audiences cheering and clamoring for more. Influence in action movies through decades. The Billy Jack films broke the mold from, with their unique here, a half Indian, half white, ex Green Beret bent on correcting injustice and hypocrisy to teach America to, re- to help America reach its full potential. Witness a heroism for yourself with this complete four film set it includes Born Losers, Billy Jack, The Trial of Billy Jack, and Billy Jack Goes to Washington. Featuring two audio commentaries by the filmmaker for each child. This is an image release. Okay, um, there's the film. Look at PG, GP, PG, and then not rated. And what happened was, okay, so let's in order. Billy Jack. Okay. So this is the Born Loser. It's a biker movie. The first Billy Jack film. Malicious motorcycle gang harassed the residents of a small California town, terrorizing them and committing a string of crimes, including the rape of four young women. As the gang tries to stop the victims from testifying at the indictment hearing, one of the women comes under protection of Billy Jack, who also has several run-ins with this game. Packed with bikes and bikinis, his breakout drive through hit propelled star Tom Laughlin, the independent starter, and became a whole new movie legend. This is the one, this did so good that he paid for, he got financing, Tom Laughlin, and got Billy Jack made. With the this is the Winton Soldier song, which go, if you like that song, go look up on YouTube, because I know you're watching YouTube right now. Go look One Hit Wonderland, Winton Soldier Coven, and learn the origin of that band. It's great. This one here, this is the first one I saw. So let's see. The record breaking sequel to, oh, this is the trial of Billy Jack. They weren't put it here in order. The most unusual box office success of all time, Billy Jack, starring Tom Laughlin and Dolores Taylor. That's his wife. The martial arts figure that defined a generation back in the movie sensation will make you go berserk. Half-breed, ex-Greenberry Billy Jack is driven to action when a desert school is victimized by the dogs using his fists and his feet. And at least his justice in a fast-kicking frenzy made him an instant folk hero. Thomas and Relentless, Billy Jack is here to stay. To come to. All right, and this one, he basically... Had this film made and then four wild theaters and toured this thing all over the states and made a fortune. So, and it's what it's say? He's protecting a, it's a, it's a reservation school in Native I want to say like Howard Hessman's in this. One of these, I want to say Howard Hessman was in like Julie Webb, Ken Toby. And there, I mean, the disc ain't nothing special. So, okay. So we got Billy Jack and then we have, you know, the second one. Then we get the trial of Billy Jack. The record-breaking sequel to Billy Jack finds Billy tried and sentenced to prison while the Freedom School flourishes, but the narrow-minded town people have different ideas about the school's liberalism, and when Billy Jack is released, things heat up. Students are threatened and abused, and the Native Americans in the neighborhood village are taunted and mistreated. After Billy Jack undergoes a vision quest, it's up to him to save the day when the governor and police plot to put an end to the school and his pioneering, eye-opening, and relentless, entertaining audience favor. My understanding is this one did not do near as good. I don't remember a lot about this one, to be honest. And then this last one, I had never seen this. I heard about this. this. is Billy Jack Goes to Washington. And this was the one where I don't think this got much release at all. I think this is one where you either caught a home video or cable or this set. 
And there is Blu-rays of these now, but listen to this. Perhaps the most controversial film in the landmark series, Billy Jack Does Washington tells the story straight out of the headlines. When a renegade senator suddenly dies after exposing the nuclear power industry, cricket politicians decide they need a new senator to play along with their shady deals. They decide on the imprisoned Billy Jack as their patsy. See Billy bring his own brand of justice to Washington corruption and take on all covers with his head and his feet. And feet's like italics. It's like, yeah, he's gonna kick him. Yeah, ain't that good. And he tried there for a while to get a fifth one made. God, this box is dude though. And it just didn't happen. Honestly, out of all these, Born Losers is pretty cool. I enjoy uh, the first one titled Billy Jack. And that is about it. The other two, eh, I mean, Billy Jack on trial is not horrible. Billy Jack goes wash it is boring and long. Like, I remember it being like super long. I think that was a big of the issue with some of these later ones. They just got way too long. Like 114 minutes. That's almost two hours. Trial is 170. That's the one that's long. 173. That's three hours. Billy Jack. 115. That's almost two hours. Born Losers is probably short. 113. These are all kind of longish. Uh, there is, like I said, I, I want to say like Shouts put out a good set of these. I put some tape on that. And this is one of those where if anybody watching this is interested, leave me a comment. You know, you know, ask that podcast at gmail.com. You don't want to leave a public comment. I'll, this is for sale. I'm thinking because it's four movies. You know, if you want to pay shipping, I can do 10 bucks. If you don't want to pay shipping, I have to charge a little more to cover shipping myself. But it's up. I, I would... If somebody just wanted the, the third and fourth films, I'd tell them to separately keep the first two. <laughs> That's it, hey, Billy Jack. Yeah, Billy Jack. I dug this out the other night. I was like, ooh, I ain't seen this in forever. And then I put it on living room table. Because when I got this in, I, well, I sat and watched all these with my dad. My dad, you know, like I said, I saw the original in him. Well, the original called Billy Jack. I don't think he even knew about Born Losers. And I remember half the movie going, where's Billy Jack? So I was like, That's not Billy Jack. My Billy Jack's got a beard. And he, he runs around in his underwear. And he's from Portland. I didn't know he was crazy back then. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I'm out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Man, if you did, boom, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all that other bullshit. Laters.